Here is an application problem on rate of change. This is a very interesting question and it had many parts. So what I did was that I split it into a couple of pages. Now in the first page, let's go through the question. A3, A. Consider the position function of a toy car. So the position function is given as S of T equals to T cube minus 9T square plus 15T plus 4. Write an expression to represent velocity of this toy car. Now velocity, you know, is rate of change of position, right? So we have to find instantaneous um, rate of change of this function. Best way to do it is to get the expression. In fact, the only way to get the expression is to use difference quotient method. Okay, and we'll try to do that. And once we use, diff once we get velocity, then we will use this velocity and this function to answer many other questions, okay, which will be part B and then C. Okay, let's do this part first. That is instantaneous rate of change and instantaneous rate of change is, as you know, uh, we'll take, consider a point which is very, very close to the general point. So we can write this as S of T plus H minus s of t over t plus h minus t right depending on accuracy let's say you need two decimal place accuracy then h is 0 0.001 correct right? you can find your answer for the time being we will assume that h is very very small negligible right so we'll say h is very very small as compared to one and then what we will do is we'll neglect the terms like h square and h cube okay uh, because if let's say h is 0 0.001 then square will be 0 0.00001 which is much much smaller right so we will just ignore them correct now here we'll put t plus h instead of this and expand our function so we'll get t plus h whole cube minus 9 times t plus h whole square plus 15 times t plus h plus 4. This is the first part. Let me put it in square brackets. And the next part is the same function as t. Which is t cube minus 9 t square plus 15 t plus 4. Right? Everything divided by t plus h minus t which is h. h is not 0. Remember that. h is not 0 but it's very very close to 0. Okay. Now we'll expand this. So let me write this h as like 1 over h. Okay. And uh, let's expand. a plus b whole cube is what? a cube plus 3 times a square b plus 3 times a b square plus h cube that is the b cube right and this term will be 9 times t square plus 2 th plus h square right? and then we have plus 15 I can open this plus 15 h Okay, so this is our first half, right? And then minus of, let me write this here, minus of t cube minus 9t square plus 15t plus 4. Is it okay? And let me put, because this h divides both, so let me put bigger brackets. That should be fine. So we got up to here. Now, let's simplify. There are many terms, as you know, all these terms should cancel out. If not, we have done something wrong, okay? Remember that. So let's look for these terms. 9t squared, 9t squared, okay? 15t, 15t, got it? And number 4. Oh, I missed, see? That is what I was saying. 
I missed number 4. So there was number 4 here. So let me squeeze it in. Let me write here now. Okay. Nobody to in this bracket. Anyway, I'll write plus 4 here. And, you know, cancel that out. Correct? So number 4. Okay. It happens. So, but the rules are very simple. All of them should cancel out. If not, something is wrong. You missed something. Did you see how we missed 4? And then we found it, right? That's what happens. So we got this. Now we are left with all these terms. To simplify our matter, what I will do is, as I said, we'll neglect the terms which have h cube and h square in it. So we'll neglect these terms. They're as good as 0, right? Now let's write this all the terms which are left with us so all these went away we got some terms here so we got three this is h not b <laughs> okay so 3t square h this is h not b there's no b here right i was confused what is this and uh, minus 9 times 2 is minus 18th and then we got plus 15h that is all correct so what we did was since h is very very small as compared to 1 we assume that h square approaches 0 and h cube approaches 0, right? So we neglected those terms, correct? That's what we did. Now we got all this, right? Now what I can do is I can take h comma from all of them, right? So let me take h comma. So h, so we got 3t square minus 18t plus 15. Is it okay? Now I can cancel h and h, right? So I'm left with 3t square minus 18t plus 50. So what is the instantaneous rate of change of position? It's velocity, right? So that is an expression for the velocity. So if you say vt is equals to 3t square minus 18t plus 15 okay so that is our expression for velocity do you understand so uh, we'll copy this remember this because we need it in part b of our application problem it continues to the next page okay i hope you understand the process we did all this math here there is a possibility of doing errors so be very careful remember simple things all these should cancel out second Instead of expanding it and bringing them together, write this and get rid of h square and h cube terms, which are negligible, right? Then we have a simpler function to deal with, and there we get the answer, correct? That's how it can be done. Thank you.